So this is a program instruction sheet demonstration along with transferring over to the data sheet. Um, this is a generalization program from PEAK. I picked out a Coic Rhythm 9H to use for this demonstration. And I'm just going to show you how to fill out the program instruction sheet for this particular program and then how to transfer those stimuli for train and test over to the generalization data sheet. Um, so for this one, for a Coic Rhythm 9H, I'm going to pick out different um, stimuli that works for this specific participant. Um, so this may not be a one size fits all, but this is just for this demonstration what I'm using um, to show. So for train number one, I might put four quick. For two, maybe two slow. For number three, we might do two fast and two slow maybe three slow, and three slow, two fast. And those are the five train stimuli for um, a sample for this program. Obviously, if it's a younger participant, et cetera, you might be cutting this um, you know, with maybe two and two. Um, but this is just kind of what I had for this sample that we did a demonstration for. So four quick would be four quicks like that two slows, and then combos, two fast and two slows, for example. And so then on the test side, we're going to have kind of different variations of what we used on the train side. So number 16 might be too quick, because we had four quick on this side, two quick on this side, and then we'll do four slow to kind of meet up with the two slow on this side. And then we'll do too slow, too fast to kind of switch it up from our train stimuli three We'll do five slow, and then two slow, three fast to kind of flip and vary from what we did on the train side. So for date introduced, I would put today's date, and that would be all I'd be filling out if we're just initially introducing this program. If we were adding in other levels, things like that, I'll kind of do a different demonstration for that down the road. This is just kind of the initial program instruction sheet filling out. And then now transferring over to the generalization data sheet, participant name, I'm just going to put demo. And program name, this is 9H Echoic Rhythm. And then for generalization, you're going to be intermixing train and test stimuli within one block. So you're only going to be still doing one block of 10 trials, but you're going to have train and test mixed in at the same time. So for filling out this one, you're just going to randomize it, but I might put one. So that's a train one, which would be four quick. Then I might do number two, which is too slow. Then I might move to a test trial, and that would be four slow. Sometimes I cross out the two, four, and eight just to remind myself while I'm still kind of figuring it out and learning that I only mark a zero or a 10 for my score. When I get to a test, I'm not giving any feedback. I'm not prompting. I'm not reinforcing. I'm just testing to see are they able to mimic my four slow when I say do this. If they are, they get a 10. If they don't, they get a zero, and then we go on to the next one. So for this one, I might do another test, which would be five slow. So I could kind of prepare my sheet by crossing out that two, four, and eight to remind myself I'm not prompting, I'm not reinforcing or giving feedback, I'm testing. Then for the next one, I might do a three. So I'm back to the train side. So it's fine to leave all of my scores there. I'm going to be prompting, reinforcing, giving feedback, and working through that until um, we get our score for that. So then the next one, I might do another test. Again, either all or nothing for this one. I'm testing, no prompting or feedback. Then I might go back to the train side and do three slow and two fast. And then I can prompt, give feedback, reinforce. Um, and then the next one I might go back to test. And I'll go back to the train and do three slow on my stimuli. And then I might end on a test for this one and cross those out. So again, I would fill out my date, my initials, and then you'll see right after this the demo run. Um, and so you will see this program run from start to finish. And then you'll see the score sheet at the end of that to see what the total response score was to kind of practice that. But this just gives you um, a little bit of a demo on how to fill out a pro um, program instruction sheet to the data sheet for a generalization program. Do this. Look at what I do. Do this. Awesome.
awesome. You did the same. Let's do this. Look again. Do this. Look at this nice and slow. Do this. Good, doing this. Let's try another one. Do this one. Let's try another one. Do this. Do another one. Try this. Look at what I do. Do this. Fast. Great, doing the same as me. Let's do another one. Let's try another one. what I do. Watch again. One, two, three, and then fast. Here, I'm going to help you. Go one, two, three, then fast. Good, doing the same. Let's do another one. Do this. Try this one. Great doing the same as me. Last one. All right, time to check your scores for peak generalization, 9H, echoic rhythm.